And yes, my lashes are pink. Period. Hi guys. Namaste. Welcome to my channel. I'm Pearly Gaga. Nice to meet you if you're new here. And if you're a returning subscriber, hey girl, hey. Hey boy, hey. So today, okay, you already guessed it. Get into this look, okay? If you wanna learn how to get this look or see how I got this look, just keep on watching, okay? And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Honey, I know you want to. You can stop all that lurking. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you know anytime I post, all right? So anyways, let's get to this look, honey. So I already did my brows off camera. So what I'm starting off here with is my P. Louise base in Rumor 3. It's very bright. I usually use this base when I want a color payoff. I took a flat brush to carve that out and then I took a dense fluffier brush to smooth out the edges. Now you wanna make sure you are smoothing it all out so that your shadows can have the best payoff and be nice and smooth. So pretty much smooth like this. Now I'm taking my ABH Times Norvina palette and taking a smudger brush I really want to get like a smaller brush but unfortunately my brushes were dirty and you kind of just take that color and pack it on this is the Norvina volume 2 palette and the color I'm packing on is D3 I had no idea what kind of look I wanted to go with I kind of knew the color scheme and I wanted to do graphic liners so you're gonna see me going back and forth and I took my James Charles palette and that pink shade in there I packed half of it on the first transition color in my crease and then I packed the other half like right above it so that it can blend easily together everything you want to do on this side you do on the other side then I took the lighter shade baby pink color to pack that above that so that it can my brow bone line can be really smoothened out and blended out then I went right back with that first transition color from my ABH times Norvina palette and just revisited that first transition color so that it's nice and opaque I'm going to be going back and forth with these three colors, well maybe just twice. That's all it is to these really bold looks is that you just gotta keep going back and forth with these colors to see the color payoff that you want and see the blend that you want. Taking my Vaseline, yes honey, Vaseline, taking a flat brush and basically cleaning up the surface in the shape that I want my cut crease to go in. And take your time with this. Now I'm taking a CeraVe micellar water to kind of carve that out. Honestly, you can just use a makeup remover wipe. I just, um, I ran out. So this is what you get, honey. Don't judge me, judge your mother. Now guys, let me know if you want a separate brow tutorial, because I can do a separate video just on brows. 
um, it just took too long chow and I didn't want this video to be too long but yeah you just clean it up and shape it how you want to nice clean lines I'm gonna use the same brush that I used to um, put the base on and I'm using my P. Louise times Mama Mitchell acid rain blank canvas um, I'm putting it on um, stainless steel plates because I like to keep everything sanitized and I use this on other people what you're gonna do is just make sure you smooth it all out on the plate and um, just try to make sure you make the brush as flat as possible so that you can be able to maneuver around the crease as best as possible and you have to work fast with these because they dry down really fast so I'm taking that white color from the James Charles palette and I'm just going to pack that in my inner corner or inner crease lid space thingy majiggers and yeah just packing that on pack 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 the thing about the James Charles palette is that you really with the shadows in order to get the shadows to work best it's best to just pack on the colors and then blend that's how I feel like um, they work best now I'm using the box of crayons by the crayon case shout out to my girl super Saint. and I'm just putting that white color over that because I wanted more of a, a shimmer in the corner and it gave me that now I'm going back with that first my first crease color honestly I should have put my pink James Charles color first because that's a little bit lighter but honey like I said I was just doing as I go so you're gonna see me going back and forth really and just packing those colors on just pat 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 kind of just trying to blend the white and the pinks together I'm going in with that lighter pink shade which I should have put on first because I want when you're doing these looks you want the darker color to be on the outside but I made it work now I'm going back with that white shimmery color from the box of crayons and kind of just adding that on so I can blend that out together And it's literally just going back and forth till you're satisfied with the blend. It is a, a tedious process. I usually don't film this because it is a tedious process. Um, but yeah, just keep blending, blend, blend, blend. The blending is going to be your best friend. Now, I am taking that micellar water on a cotton swab and just cleaning all the excess shadow fallout so I can get some nice clean lines in order to put my liner on and you just kind of clean it up to your liking to your shape liking I like to clean it upwards in my inner corner so it kind of lifts the eye I feel like the lifting of the eye is good for my face shape but you know, everyone has a different face shape and y'all should do what's best for you. Now I'm taking this Snow Flake White Liner from Beats by Deb, black owned brand by the way, support my girl. And you wanna wet it and then swirl your brush in it. I'm using a paint brush that I got from Michaels 
to kind of touch base on that. And you want to take your time with this so you get the liner how you want it. I start off with the inner corner and then I kind of work my way up. And along the video, you're going to see that I'm going to be going back and forth between uh, pink actually and this color because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I know I wanted to do the white liner but I thought I was gonna just do the white liner. I ended up just changing my mind and adding the pink liner. And I'm just making sure it's nice and opaque and I get the shape that I like. This is tedious, so don't expect to be done in five minutes, okay? Okay, and this is why I like to do my shadow first and then do my base last because I never know what I want to do and I want to be able to clean up my mistakes without worrying about my base but you know what to each his own so I'm kind of just attaching that in my inner corner trying to play with the shape and see how dramatic I want to go because baby girl I can get real dramatic So the pink liner that I'm using is actually from ABH Times Norvina collection. I'm using the color in electric pink. So the shirt that I was going to be wearing is very checkered. So I kind of want to wanted to mimic that shape a little bit without actually doing that shape, if that makes sense. I ended up changing my mind about the inner corner many times. But that's okay. That's why I did my shadow first. And I just keep going back and forth between the white liner and the pink liner until, you know, I'm satisfied with the color payoff. I know that's a little bit dramatic, but honey, I'm about to wipe it off. Don't worry. I used a Q-tip to kind of customize it. I took some of that micellar water and just used a Q-tip to clean out the edges and see what shape that I wanted it. Very tedious, I know. <laughs> this is not your everyday makeup tutorial, okay? <laughs> not at all. See what I said about dragging the inner corner to lift up the eyes. And I'm kind of just cleaning all the excess powders and that whatever is left. I'm still testing out the Fenty skin, so this is gonna be sped up because honey, not necessary. But I will be recording my final thoughts on that next week. And honey is juicy. So I'm taking my primer by touch, no, so they touch every time. I always mess this up every time. I'll leave it on the descriptions below. So I'm gonna start off with the Born This Way concealer in the color Mahogany. Just to kind of color correct, cause this one kind of has like a orangey feel so it can kind of color correct underneath my eyes and then on my mustache yes honey I do have a mustache and honestly I'm not ashamed <laughs> and I'm blending that out with like a, a fluffy 
dense eyeshadow brush. I'm using the Juvia's Place foundation in the shade Lagos. And I don't like to put foundation on my forehead because honey, it's not necessary. I don't like all that product on my forehead. And I'm using like a dense kabuki brush. Whatever product I have left, then I'll put it on my forehead. Because I'm, honey, I'm gonna put concealer on my forehead anyways and contour. So I just don't see it necessary. Now I am taking the Born This Way concealer in the shade Mocha to basically conceal and then I'm taking my Juvia's Place concealer in the shade 13 to put in the inner corner and on the bottom so it can be a gradient when I blend it out and I'm just drying it down so that it can be nice and opaque and pigmented anytime you want your concealers to be pigmented or nice full coverage you want to dry it down a little bit. And I'm taking my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, a damp beauty sponge to blend that out. I usually like to use a brush, but honey, I told you, all my brushes were dirty. So beauty sponge it is. <laughs> and I don't like to use dirty brushes on my face, honey. I just don't, it breaks me out. And just blend all that out. I'm gonna go back with my Juvia's Place in the color 13 and just put that right in the inner corner and let it dry. I'm using my Fenty Match Stick in the color Espresso to contour. I like to contour in the inner, like outer corner of my eye so that it can be lifted. And I put contour like right in my, the bridge of my nose. Um, and I'm just gonna blend that out and it gives it kind of a really nice contoured nose without being contoured, <laughs> if that makes sense. And I'm just blending, blending, blending. When it comes to contour, you just kind of blend upwards. I just like to look really bronzy, so that's why I put a lot of contour. You really don't need a lot. I'm just extra. I put it on my neck so that I don't know why I do that but it just looks good when I put it on my neck okay sue me you see how when you allow it to um, dry down the concealer it's like nice and um, pigmented and full coverage yeah honey gotta do that thing honey and then blend that out and then after this, I'm going to go back with my foundation brush, not adding any more product. I'm just buffing that all together so it can be nice and blended. I'm taking my Fit Me powder in the shade Dirty Medium Deep. And I'm going to press that into the places that I concealed to set it. I don't like to bake because it just makes me look really dry and um, I have combination to dry skin, more dry sky, so I really just don't like to bake. But I do like to press the product in and just set all the areas that I put concealer on. And then next I'm taking a fluffy brush and I'm going to set the rest of my face with my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. I'm going to leave down in the description all the products that I've used um, so that you guys can see what I've used. And I sprayed my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. And the lashes that you saw were from a black owned brand actually. Pink lashes, I know, so dramatic. Um, 
this black owned brand called Be Wispy. She does amazing work on Instagram. Like it's really nice. Um, but I want to support black business and I also wanted pink lashes, honey. And um, I just use a little bit of brush, blush on my outer corner. And then I use the Naked Cosmetics Highlight Palette to kind of highlight the areas I wanted highlighted. And I'm going back in with these liners to kind of touch them up and see, you know, kind of where I want the vibrancy to be now that I have everything on. Like I said, you can do this after you do your foundation and everything. I just, I'm a mess. I did not know what I wanted to do. So I like to prefer to do it before. And I'm just taking that white in the inner corner. And I'm taking a beige um, liner, eyeliner, and just going high, going alongside my bottom lash line. Um, if you're in a deeper complexion, I don't advise you to use white liner underneath because it just makes you look washed out. Beige is always good. Beige or nude. And I'm just taking small brushes to kind of do the bottom lash line with the colors. I take that first transition color, that pink color from the Norvina palette to do the outer. And then underneath it, I take a bigger brush, use C5. And then I take a little bit of a bigger brush and use E4 to blend that out. Now I'm taking that same highlighter that I used from the Naked Cosmetics palette to do my inner corner highlight. I like to go a little bit on the bottom and that really opens up my eyes. And then I highlight the bridge of my nose and top of my nose and kind of blend that out. I'm going in with a clear brow gel from Wander Boozy. Wonder Beauty and I'm using the Tarte mascara to do my bottom lash line. By the way, I applied my lashes off camera. Wait for it. Bam! Okay. You cute boo. Anyway, I'm using my MAC lip liner in Night Moth to line my lips. Um, I don't do overlining because, babe, I have big enough lips, honey. That I kind of just go on my natural curve. I'm not saying that uh, overlining is bad. You know, I just uh, I already have lips. So I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle lipstick in the shade Single. And I'm taking a blending brush to kind of just marry those two together i mean it just gives me that nice gradient effect you don't have to use this but i'm just extra and then the look how pouty my lips look i mean they're naturally pouty but i'm just adding a little bit more so it can be a little bit more nude and yeah next um after i finish blending this out i'm going to use my fenty beauty a gloss balm in the shade hot cocoa to gloss up my lips I've been really and well, I, I've always been a glossy girl so yeah but this is the final look what you guys think cutie hey <laughs> yep hi guys so I just finished filming this look how do you guys like the tutorial? I know it's all over the place, but honey, I didn't have no clue what I was going to be doing. It's just, it happens as it goes. I mean, I think of stuff as it goes, you know, I was trying to do a look for Instagram, but I was like, oh, let me just film it, you know, for my YouTube family. But yeah, you guys like it? <laughs> Anyways, don't forget to subscribe to my channel 
and leave down in the comments below if you guys want more dramatic looks such as this one i mean i got a surprise for y'all actually my instagram family knows already but i will be doing cosplay for the whole month of october oh yes you heard that right the whole month of october i'll be doing cosplay honey about four looks honey I got, I got you. I, I got you. All right. So anyways, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell notification. So you know anytime I post, honey. All right. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Okay. Bye.